Hello everybody and welcome to an episode of BioBlitz. Today we're going to break down the St. Louis Zoo's health checkup routine for their bull elephant Raja. So we can see that when the keeper raises his arm, Raja has learned to open his mouth wide, allowing the keeper to check for any cavities, tooth damage, or sores. Next we see that when the keeper keeps his arm up, Raja has learned to stand on his back feet. As unnatural as this behavior may seem, this is occasionally seen in the wild when they are trying to reach high branches, as you can see in this photo here. Standing on his back feet allows the keeper to gauge Raja's lower leg stability and strength, as well as allowing him to view his belly for skin infections, sores, or lumps, a nearly impossible task to do safely otherwise. So that's the other thing that that's the other thing that differentiates African from Asian elephants is that Indian elephants have a single little lip, uh, a single little finger on their uh, on their trunk. African elephants have two. And the African elephants have way to the Yeah. They, they still get by because some, like, there's sometimes elephants will get their tusks, their trunks snared and they'll lose the beginning, the tip of their trunk. Oh, look, the little tree, the pine tree stuff. Oh. We next see the keeper signal Raja to lower himself to the ground and kneel. Once again, this task has multiple purposes. First, as you can see, the keeper is leaning over to view his back to make sure he doesn't have any injuries or sores. Secondly, it allows the keeper to see if Raja has any issues getting up or down from the prone position. After this, we see Raja showing each of his front feet to the keeper to make sure he doesn't have any damage to the nail or to the ankle joint. Because elephants are so huge, any injury to their feet becomes rapidly debilitating. Interestingly, elephants do not walk flat-footed, but on their toes, as they have a thick, fleshy pad that props up their heel. <laughs> More. <laughs> the keeper then has Raja circle around to check his backside and legs to ensure there are no obvious injuries. After his quick spin around, you can see the keeper telling Raja to stand on the stump. This skill is likely not only done to test his balance, but is also something more cognitively engaging. Such routines are not only a fun way to feed the animal, but they are critical in ensuring the animal's continual physical and mental health. Before this video ends, I would first like to thank you for watching through till the end. Secondly, I want to make clear that this breakdown was only my best guess for why they performed each task, as I am not a zookeeper. However, as a biologist and evolutionary anthropologist, I hopefully wasn't too far off the mark. Lastly, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. Thank you. He's like, get out of my food. And that's all they'll eat and that's enough? Oh yeah. Really? So the reason why they're so...